8.23. I am leaving my house on my way to the barn. So, the plan for today is a rather busy one. I have lessons this morning and afternoon. It is going to rain all day, so that's exciting. Not. Um, I ended up having a lot of time free yesterday afternoon, so I clipped Zeke because he needed it. He was fuzzy. Um, so I clipped him. He got his injections in his coffin joint joints in his front feet and his um, hocks on Thursday. So he got hand walked Thursday. He was able to be turned out yesterday and then I hand walked him last night. So today we can do a light ride, nothing too crazy, no super crazy movements or anything. So we're just going to do a little bit of light walk truck canter. And then um, tomorrow he can go back to full work doing all of his movements and whatnot. So I'm excited to see how he feels today under saddle versus Thursday morning when I rode him. Because I rode him before they came out for the injections. So I'm really excited to see how he feels. He... 10 also needs his SI injected. The vet came out and unfortunately didn't have his ultrasound so he couldn't do it while he was out but he's coming back out on the 30th to inject 10's SI and if his hocks or stifles need to be done again because I think it's it's been a bit since since we had those done um, and it's been like two years since his stifles were or it's been gosh it's been two years since his more than two years since his stifles were injected. We had a blister, but his stifles have not been injected in a while. And his SI has not been injected since October of 2018. So uh, it's definitely due. The, I've had it checked every time the vet comes out, um, but this time in particular, his last, uh, last left SI was really, really sore. So, um, yeah, so that's gonna get done early, not next week, but the following week after Thanksgiving weekend. Um, so he's gonna have that completed. And then, let's see, let's see, let's see. What else do I have to update? Um, so after my lessons today, Kinsey is meeting me at the barn. Um, I'm going to ride Zeke, jump Renita, because we do have a show next weekend, which is really exciting. Um, so we've got a show next weekend and then just a schooling show. So she's gonna come out, get some videos for me, and then we're going to, I'm gonna go head to her barn with her to watch her ride her horse and possibly get on her horse and see, see what I feel, see what's going on. Um, and then we're gonna go get dinner. So it's going to be a fun day. I don't know if any restaurants or anything are even open, but we'll see, I guess. <laughs> um, I kind of switched some brow bands and stuff around on, I've got a whole bunch of bridles. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six bridles sitting here. And I do need to switch. I forgot to grab Renita's jump bridle, but we are switching her to, um, just a Waterford loose ring. She went really well in that with a running martingale. So we're going to switch her on that. And then um, depending, I mean, I'm still gonna jump her in the hackamore here and there, but she, it worked really well for her. But now that she's like calming down and she's getting a lot more quiet um, and she's realizing she doesn't have to like rush every single fence and like just barrel at it. Um, it's almost getting to be a little too much for her. I don't want to say she's over bit because it still works, but the, she just, she starts getting a little, she starts backing off too much, if that makes sense. So she still goes great in it. It's, it's just, I think she loses a little bit of her confidence going towards the fence when she's backed off too much. So 
the Waterford with the running martingale worked really, really well. So I'm gonna set up just a few small jumps in the arena after my lessons are over. And then, um, yeah, and then we'll do a little bit of a, little bit of a jump school. And, <clears throat> and then ride Zeke just for a little bit. That's it. Oh, another update, which won't be for a while, but um, my trainer goes to Florida every March for a month. So obviously I have to stay back and do the training rides on the horses that are not going with her, but she's taking a couple horses with her that are in training rides. I think she's taken Woody, Tenny, she's taken her horse, maybe Cosmo. Um, and I think a couple others but I think I'm going to send 10 with her. Um, me and 10 have never been apart for more than two weeks, so that's gonna be quite interesting. I don't want him to think like I sold him and he's gone, so um, I'm gonna have to start prepping him and telling him now, but I think that would be really, really good for him because it is going to be literally like um, six days a week she's going to be riding and lunging him. So I really think that that's going to be the absolute best case scenario for him. Um, and I'm going to see if I can have one of the, uh, the other girl that does lessons on Sundays um, cover, like if I could work two Sundays for her and she can work two Saturdays for me or she can work a couple days of my lessons or something for me. Um, that way I can fly down and be down there for a weekend or two while he's down there. That would be really amazing. So I think six days a week with her for a month is going to like accelerate him in the best way possible. And I just think it's, he's going to get the one-on-one -on -one attention with her that she can't, I mean, she can't, she doesn't even do six days a week here. So, um, that's super exciting. I'm super excited about it. Like, obviously I'm really sad that I can't go and be there for an entire month, but somebody has got to stay back and hold down the fort. So that shall be me. Um, but yeah, he's going to go to Florida with her for a month in March. And I think it's like, it's, it's literally just going to be the best. So that way when, by the end of March, when shows really start ramping up, we can just get right into it and, and be good. It would really be amazing if I could get some of my scores towards my bronze medal on 10. That would just be, that would literally be like the best thing that's ever happened. So, um, yeah, that would be really cool. Smile, smile, smile. You're so handsome. You do so right. You're handsome. Now we have an allergic reaction to something. Do you have the Rona?
Beautiful. says I just want to be done.
some reason your zoom out is not working. Hmm? I said your zoom out isn't working. <laughs> I actually feel like I'm going to fall off this step stool if I continue this. Great ideas, great ideas. It definitely helps if your stirrups are even. The jigging is starting. Mm-hmm. Is that your saddle that's rubbing? Oh yeah, I'm gonna fall off this mounting block. I can feel it. Huh? I said I'm gonna fall off this mounting block if I continue this.
grief. <laughs> oh God. Beautiful, huh? gorgeous. I'm vaguely reminded of Wally. but I'm not. Beautiful. Really good girl. <laughs> and you jinxed it. Talk about lean back. Huh? I said, talk about lean back. Yeah. I think the jig tells you she does. <laughs> breathe, 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 breathe.
beautiful. <laughs> Such a good girl. <laughs> Mm. I mean, it's not like she's doing anything overly naughty. She's so excited. In her mind, she's going, I am the shit. I am the shit. Watch me go.